Today is a very short little video. This is little room I've been allowed to go and video. It's on private property. And um, I had to wait till the farmer had the barley cut and baled. And go tramping through his fields. And thanks to Peter for allowing me. To Butch and Danny for telling me about it. It's just situated off the rocky road by the Archalagan Plantation and um, the little homestead's called Nevada. When I get near it I'll tell you a bit more about it. What I know about it anyway. It's been abandoned since the 60s. Some people from Bellicella lived in it called Tascas apparently. And they moved out. It's then used as a farm store. I took some pictures off this little place in the last big snow we had so well cool. it's the middle of October. I don't expect it's gonna get better. Well, she's quite an impressive uh, building really. It looks like the uh, house and the barn were connected. As I said, it's, uh, let's say it is called Nevada. Not a lot of it left these days. The usual big fireplaces. It's a grand fireplace this one. Even got a water tower in it. See where the beams were for the floor above, and unfortunately, the roof is gone. So, the last time I was here, it was snowing heavily, or it had been snowing. And that little trough the rocks he's drinking out of was frozen. Belongs to the Quay family now. And they used it for storing hay, apparently, when the roof was on it. Mr. Quay Sr. bought it in 1944 from the well known Manx farming family called C the Creers. And uh, they had to sell the farm to uh, sort out a will, apparently. And uh, Mr. Quay bought it for £350. And 41 or 44 and he says uh, there's that 36 acres and he thought there was about 14 little fields and the average thrashing when they were doing it was about 200 sacks And when they bought it over, they started using lime, which became quite prevalent in, the, in that time scale. And the, uh, the grain harvest went up to 300 sacks. Some folks come out and have a picnic. It's a great idea, I would have thought. Must be when the family are in the field working. It's quite sheltered behind the house. It's quite a lot modern than some of the other Fultons I visit because the, the walls have been 
um, that's been built with cement or mortar, whatever you want to call it. This is the room next door. As you see, she's pretty open to elements these days. And I'm glad I came and done it today because if you look at that, I said I'm glad I came and done it because you look at that hole there. The whole side wall is going to go sometime soon, I guess. And nature clings on to life with a passion you'd have to admire. So that's a short video off Nevada. The name comes from apparently. So a lot of folk emigrated to the States in that time scale. Now I can only assume there's some left here to go to Nevada. Come on dogs! A blustery old day though. The old bales here kind of remind me this year, this year that straw is going to be very expensive and um, every little bit of it will be needed I think. I hear they're fetching it in in big square bales. And the cost of transport must be prohibitive. Roxy! Come here you two, Penny, Roxy! Penny, come on! Be good now, come on! Roxy, Penny! Good girls! Good girl, come on! <laughs> 